Here is the middle of December, so we are going to do a tour, like a Christmas island tour. We are gonna try to visit the biggest towns and villages on the island and just to check out the Christmas decorations and lights and stuff. Azorians are generally quite religious, so they know how to celebrate all these uh, religious holidays. I thought it was gonna be dark by the time I get here, but it's still a little bit... Uh, it's not dark yet, it's still a little bit sunny and stuff. Uh, it's possible to see the rain right here. Right now we are in a town which has quite an important historical meaning because it was here, well, in the port, where the first settlers to the island arrived. <laughs> Yesterday we did the eastern part of the island and today we are going to do the western part of the island. I was going to go to this place where the water is hot when the tide is low, but on this part of the island the wind is crazy and the waves are here, so it's impossible to do this. It's kind of wild. I don't think I've ever seen it like this. The thing is that usually before I go to places I see the weather because the weather changes on depending on the part of the island you are at. There is like a very cute uh, painting on the wall. So yeah, the thing is that there are these webcams on the island on the most touristic spot and you can just always check what's the weather like where you are about to go. In every town and village there is at least one church and one kind of a main square and they are kind of an important thing when it comes to life on the island people always hang out here like it's usually full of people 
And when it comes to these traditional Christmas scripts, they have it everywhere. They have them on the sides of the roads, on the street, on the roundabouts, shopping centers, yards, gardens, everywhere. So they always try to create an authentic background and it's very unique and creative and they do put a lot of effort into it, I think. The interesting thing here is that these Christmas scripts, they don't only contain religious figures, but also all kinds of figurines connected to the culture and the life of the island. This is an important thing to do, especially in the town. There is even a boat decorated. And I remember that last year this very same tree was here and we had a huge storm and it just kind of fell down, like right here. 